physical health is important for the whole family. Staying active is vital for kids as well as parents. This afternoon, fitness coach Michael Wittig is here to discuss ways you can make fitness fun for the whole family. Michael, thanks for being here. Fresh off the competition yeah. that you did. Congrats on that. Thank you so much. Um, so I think most parents are aware that it's important for them to keep their kids active. How can parents join in and, and have some fun with their kids and kind of teach them some important fitness stuff? Well, it's important for the whole family. And if parents lead by example, the kids will want to do what we do. You know, so you don't have to be a hardcore fitness freak, but if you just do some fun things, the kids will want to join in and it just helps, it helps you set up a, a legacy of health in your family because they're going to do what you do and their kids are going to do what they do. Right. Uh, what are some activities that you could do uh, with your kids? So, the, so there's a, a few things that I like to talk to parents about when it comes to this. First of all is you have to keep it fun. You don't want to make it all crazy. Just keep it fun. Keep it short. Okay, kids have short attention spans. You don't do this hour-long workout with them. Do a 15, 20 minutes, something that's just gonna be fun. But basically, body weight movements, just them moving their body. Simple simple exercises, I can go into a bunch of them, but just you wanna keep it simple. You don't want them to have them doing weights or anything dangerous. Just teach them the movements and get them moving. And I mentioned on there, uh, no equipment necessary. You don't need weights or, or anything like that. Um, why is that important? Well, because a lot of people don't have money to go to gyms, they don't have equipment, they don't have space, and a lot of equipment for kids could be dangerous. I have four kids and my girls, I have twin girls, and they started doing some workouts with me during the summer when they were seven and eight. So we kept it safe, appropriate. You know what I mean? Jumping jacks, jumping, teaching them how to just squat with their body by sitting in a chair, and then making up activities, mm -hmm. using maybe just household items. Yeah, is there a difference in the intensity level based on age that you know parents should do and kids shouldn't? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, I don't recommend um, anyone under 13 messing with weights okay. or any of that. When, when they're young, you should do body weight movements and concentrate on the form of what you're doing, how to do it safely, how to do the form. That's the most important thing. So then when they get older, they know how to start doing more advanced stuff. They already have it in their mind and they're not watching their friends and other kids that may not know what they're doing. You know, I've, I've heard some kids that they want to lift weights at an early age. I mean, do you wait until after puberty to do that? I mean, is it kind of a... It, it really depends on the child because everybody ages a little bit different. But, you know, I, for me, with my boys, I have two girls and two boys, so we got a big family. I didn't start showing them weights and resistance training stuff till they're 13, 14. And then I kept it light. It, they mean it that young. When you're starting out lightweight, it's form and higher repetitions. They're not trying to see how much they can lift. That's how they get hurt. Yeah, definitely. All right, Michael, thanks so much. Great advice this afternoon. Thanks for being here. You're most welcome.